which is concerning Nina Kravitz, um, clone records, Nastia, the war in Ukraine, Russia, Vladimir Putin, all that kind of stuff. So recently it's come to my attention, courtesy of Resident Advisor, that Nina Kravitz has been dropped from clone, her distributor for her label. Um, what's it called? Trap or Trip, whatever it's called, right? Trip, Trap, one of them. So she's been dropped on there um, primarily because of her silence or refusal to come out and disavow the war in Ukraine and to publicly say that she's not down with Putin um, and to kind of have a position on it publicly. That's essentially what she's been kind of um, punished for, it feels like. And I feel like, in my opinion, it's kind of unfair. Number one, of course, you know, people know that I'm a fan of Nina Kravis, with, even with all her issues. Um, I'm kind of a fan of the music and the DJing and kind of her legacy and you know how she's been able to kind of you know navigate the scene in interesting ways and the way she's going into doing live music kind of stuff which kind of sucks really bad but I also admire the the courage to do so because if you know you sound that bad and you're still doing it you know either you're a bit cuckoo or you legitimately think there's a longer game you're playing that might end up being beneficial to you later on when you're bored of pressing q and mixing records on a stage cool i feel that but then the characters involved they all leave a little bit of a yucky taste in my mouth nastia isn't really somebody that i would be willing to put my hat on this is the same lady who only a few months ago at the height of COVID was still going to third world countries and playing there, flying hundreds of thousands of miles, spreading the disease, you know, in God knows places and deciding to go play, even though you'd imagine Nasty is at the level of a DJ who doesn't need to be playing these places in South America and India, wherever else that she was going in order to cut a check, because you'd imagine most of the checks that she's getting are like 20 grand plus. So you don't really know what people, people do with their money. I'm not watching their pocket, but it was just bizarre at the height of covid when we were still all worried when we were still kind of uh, paranoid these people were out there flying around all over the place and for whatever reason you know nothing happened to her in that regard no distributor dropped her no festival didn't book her things have been going on still booked and busy so for now all of a sudden nasha to now be the person that everyone's kind of rallying behind and you know going to because of course she's ukrainian and she's maybe the one that's speaking the loudest about the war in russia and disavowing putin all this kind of stuff and really leading into the social justice side of things it just leaves an icky taste in the mouth because they're all bad intention people i feel like i feel like you, you know nina kravitz is a bit of a troll and a bit of a shit poster i feel like clearly last year is a little bit of a psycho in that she only cares about herself when it comes to the djing things and especially when she was djing during the whole playgrave stuff and now this pivot into being suddenly the um, police warden of the internet in terms of telling people how they should and should not support the war in ukraine and how they should come out and disavow putin it's just a little bit disgusting i feel like every person on this earth doesn't matter if you're an artist or a civilian you have the right to have no comment you also have the right to have an opposing comment of the masses out there if, if she if if nina kravitz is legitimately a fan of putin then she should just come out and say so and I think sponsors and brands should be, of course, within their right to say, cool, now you said it out loud. We are also somebody that doesn't fuck with him. So we're going to drop you. You don't then you then can't complain and cry. But I don't get how you can shit post, you control. And then that could cost you your career because you're not willing to come out and have a position. Sitting on the fence isn't a punishable position. I don't think so. It's annoying. It pisses you off. It maybe would question your um, your fandom of the person, especially when you're seeing these visceral videos and clips and personal accounts from people in Ukraine who are suffering at the hands of Russia, right? This illegal invasion. Clearly, it's going to hurt you and pull at your heartstrings, but people are allowed to not say anything. I don't think that's punishable crime. And I just think the people involved, again, with Nastya are just so yucky that I can't really get behind it in full especially when you look at you look at it deeper and you figure out that Nastya's boyfriend husband partner is you know closely aligned with Zelensky it's just a little bit yucky but anyway we digress in this um, article courtesy of RA it says in a statement posted last week clone founder Serge Verchushko 
Is this it? Versesher said he was disappointed with Russia's artist's response to the war in Ukraine. Clone distribution has dropped Nina Kravitz and her trip label over the Russia's artist, the Russian artist's response to the ongoing war in Ukraine. The decision was outlined in the detail last week via a post on Clone's blog written by the founder Serge, aka Serge Versesher, aka Serge. So let's actually uh, read the, the, the statement courtesy of Clone. So Clone said the following. <clears throat> For the past few weeks, receiving inquiries on a daily basis asking why Clone Distributor has ended this collaboration with Trip Recordings and Nina Kravitz. Even Time Magazine asks whether we had been official statement about it, which until now we did not. So credit to Clone. They did it silently in the background. You know, maybe they didn't like her shit posting. They didn't like her refusal to say stuff. They didn't like that really incredibly stupid pieced drawing thing she did in an envelope. And they just thought, you know what, enough's enough, let's part ways. I respect that. Clone Records, however, doesn't have anything to hide. So with a due, res due respect to the discretion of the label, uh, distribution relation requires, I don't mind to clarify. In the past, even after the annexation of Crimea, Nina Kravitz has put forward several outings that can be taken as pro-Putin. Moreover, she has clearly been flirting with CCSP USSR sentiments on several occasions while the USSR was a regime that was stood in repression of minorities as marginalized LGBTQ communities, a regime which murders millions of people. On Nina's latest upcoming compilation album, All His Decisions, also a, a number of signs of USSR flattery are to be found. Yeah, she's a troll. She's got a track called All His Decisions. <laughs> okay. This is um, raising this is raising questions that, in the light of the current Russian aggression, cannot be ignored. Next page. As many people know, it's Nina Kravitz has gone quiet on social media once the war in Ukraine started. Of course, it is her right to keep quiet as she chooses, but you're still punishing her for her to go quiet, which is fucking insane. This reminds me of what happened when the whole George Floyd riots are happening, and you had to post a black square. Why am I posting a black square for? No, was it George Floyd or was it music? What was the what was a black square for? Was it because rappers are getting locked up? Was it because of George Floyd? Was it because of Black Lives Matter? Now these now these flipping founders of Black Lives Matter are going out and buying mansions for themselves and none of that money is going back to the actual victims or the victims or the black victims that died as a consequence of the riots, police officers, shopkeepers, regular civilians. None of them get that coin, but you're meant to put a black square. But you're meant to stand up for Ukraine too. How about if you're somebody who has a personal experience with Ukraine that isn't too favourable? Are you meant to have sympathy for that nation because of what they're going through? Or are you meant to stand on, on, on you, on your own morals and, and how you see things? Or maybe you're looking at it thinking, you know what? It feels like the US are using this war as an opportunity to get Putin the hell out of here, right? Maybe maybe you don't see that as something that you like to see because you're essentially viewing it as America meddling in other countries' politics, which hasn't, you know, historically worked out great for them. Maybe. I don't know what your reasons are. Whatever your reasons are for not having any sympathy for the Ukrainian people, you sh you're allowed to have them. It does make you look like a psycho. You do look like an absolute sociopath, but I understand it. And also the distributors and the companies that you're aligned with, they should have a right also to kind of, you know, end the relationship with you. But I don't see how you should be pushed to comment. That's the reason, that's the issue I have here. Pushed to comment either way is really annoying. It continues. Um, ba, 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 ba. She exit. oh yeah, she however ignored personal requests to talk. Moreover, having her label manager giving unsatisfying answers and poor excuses for not speaking and out wanting to communicate or and not wanting to, to communicate in general. The communications with her label manager are considered rather manipulative and her stances were being put forward in vague Putin-esque expressions like she wants peace. <laughs> of course she is against the war. Willfully lacking any meaningful conditions. Does she want Ukraine to surrender to put the war to stop? Does she want peace under Putin's terms? Other Russians artists, many unlike like uh, Nina living in Russia have spoken now in the first days of the war and some even now uh, please know at the in in the first days of the war there was no law in which did forbid you to speak about it okay cool so I guess some people are hiding behind this new law I can't speak because my, my family might die it's like bitch you don't speak to your family shut up it's disappointed therefore that she publicly or privately hasn't made known that she doesn't support the Russian violence or has shown any sign of empathy with the victims there are for yo DJs don't have empathy in the first place, mate. They all think they're fucking God's gifts to earth when most of us could do their jobs with their eyes closed. Most of these people were out DJing in the height of the pandemic when we were all scared, when we were all seeing videos of bodies being piled on top of each other in open morgues in flipping India and places in South America and Central America and all these 
third world countries were suffering, suffering and getting crippled by COVID. You remember what was happening in flipping Italy at that time when whole householders were getting wiped out from COVID from grandma to, to parents to whatever because they all happened to share one building that they lived in because they're a flipping family and they were getting wiped out and people were still playing flipping techno tech house events in flipping Italy with masks on the, in the outside saying I'm so happy to be back. People taking flights on um, empty airplanes, Dak Shea and playing in places. People like Blau and saying the rave was sick. I don't care how many people I might have infected that played there. These guys don't have empathy, bro. That's the whole reason why they stand on top of a stage playing other people's music, thinking as if they're actually doing anything. You have to have no empathy to be that person and to have your arms spread out wide like a flipping angel thinking you're someone. You have to have no empathy. How else can you be a person and do that job with empathy? It's impossible to do so. I try to do so on my little platform that I do it, but who am I really in the grand scheme of things? I'm no flipping, I'm no blawan, right? Come on, brother, man. This is the reason why. So this whole empathy thing is bullshit, bro. Bullshit. Bullshit. It's all selective. I personally think, and again, this is something I'm going to make a point of rule before I finally finish the article. I personally think the issue at hand here is that Nina Kravitz is a bitch. In the same way that Peggy Goo is a bitch. And I mean this in, with, in all respect. They're clearly people who are very disagreeable, have very disagreeable personalities. People that, if you're not their friend, you can understand why people would not like them in person, I can, I can truly see that for both of them, I can see that in him, which is fine, you're allowed to be a bitch, you're allowed to be annoying, you have to be a bit obtuse, that is your right, especially when you're famous, and you're somebody of notoriety, because people will, will, will still try and suck your dick, and lick your ass, because of who you are, and they want to get next to you, I don't think being a bitch, and being a, yeah, I don't think being a bitch is enough to try and get someone's career cancelled. I don't think being a bitch is enough to look for an excuse to get someone the hell out of you or to limit the ability for them to put food on the table and to support their family and stuff or to support their artists. For instance, the, the, the artists on Trip who have nothing to do with this issue, who are just signed to her label, are now being punished because she's refusing to come out and have a stance either way. And people are interpreting that as her being pro-Putin. Is If there's no hardcore evidence of her being pro-Putin, you can't do this. I'm of course, like I said, I'm okay with companies having a stance where you have to be like you have to line up with our ideology. I don't I think it's stupid anyway in business. I think everyone's dollar is a dollar, it's worthwhile, right? You're not gonna turn away a Republican just because you don't like their political views if they're buying your records. I wouldn't think so, but if you are, you're an absolute psycho, right? But imagine you're gonna do that. you you you're wiping out half of the population. But cool, regardless, we move on. If you've got your own personal company, you should be allowed to say, hey, unless you align with my politics, you can't distribute on my company. Cool. But you don't know what my politics are. And I'm okay to not tell you. I shouldn't have to tell you in order to get your distribution. But if you say that's one of the, that's one of the requirements, then fair enough. I don't get it. But you gave her a distribution, knowing that she's a bit of a shit poster, knowing that she might have some flirtations with Putin, all this sort of stuff. Didn't she have a party at some fucking palace with Peggy Goo? Didn't, didn't that happen in the middle of the pandemic? Didn't she do that? There was some party they did. I don't know whose birthday party it was. Maybe it was Peggy's birthday. It was some fucking opulent palace that looked like something that was sponsored by the CTP. Do you know what I mean? It's not some. This is not. This is not some. This is not some minor thing that she booked on Airbnb. This is something where some diplomat said, "Hey, da 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 da." You know what I mean? Here's a thing. Play the thing. Play my daughter's 18th birthday party. So this should be no surprise to people. I just think they're looking for an excuse to get her the hell out of here because they don't like her as a person. She's very annoying. She's very. You know, she has, like I said, she's a bitch, essentially. But I don't think being a bitch is enough to get your career cancelled. Personally, for me. Let's go back to the article. Um, it hasn't murdered... Uh, um, other artists are many unlike Nina living in Russia have spoken out. It is disappointing, therefore, that she publicly or privately hasn't made it known that she doesn't support Putin or Russian violence or has shown any sign of empathy for the victims, therefore. And I already went on my empathy rant. Um, by, refusing to choose to, by refusing to choose sides and by not speaking out, Nina enables herself to continue her lifestyle and her life as a performing artist as if nothing have is happening. <sighs> Oh, let's continue. While the looting, the raping, the murdering and the destruction of the country by her countrymen continues. This is a stark contrast to other situations where she has shown herself to be an opinionated person, uh, always willing to have a conversation. Let me be very clear about the fact that this is her right to do so. She is free to stay silent and of course she's allowed to keep her political views to herself and to live her life as she wishes. She may well have her personal reason to justify her behaviour but as a business partner of Clone Records is equally free not to conveniently accept those, those reasons. 
response. Fair. That's a fair response. That's a fair paragraph. I think that's entirely fair. Personally, for me, in an ideal world, I would completely rid music or any form of creative expressions from politics or rid it of politics. I don't think it's necessary unless the artist themselves wants to maybe imbue their politics, their worldview in their art as a way to maybe inform you of their worldview and their politics. Cool. But this kind of um, cloud or this kind of palette that you have to choose from where there are certain things going on in the world politically and you have to choose which one you want to imbue in your art but you don't get to choose what stance you take on each of those points you don't get to be nuanced you have to just agree with the group thing that's going on out there in the public is bizarre bizarre to say the least because let's god forbid if a few years ago or a couple of years ago you dare to get on a record and start talking about masks are silly you shouldn't need to wear them um don't double jab kids like all this stuff on a record you would have got completely deleted from society but nowadays if you if you would have said even oh it was a lab leak or something people would have absolutely destroyed you but nowadays you say it, it's completely okay to say so so society has moved quickly in those last two years to a point where people are okay to have a conversation sensible one that maybe you shouldn't be double dosing kids because it, it, this virus seems to only affect a certain demographic of people you know in being vulnerable being old being unhealthy being unfit whatever it may be overweight bloody blah, blah 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 this is something that obviously changes so i just i, I just feel like the, the, they keep moving the goalposts all the time and for me it gives me a feeling that it's mostly due to her being the person that she is and being somebody that's that's very very um unlikable right let's get back on the article there it is so um i like this i like this paragraph right there it continues while she's still touring the world and enjoying the benefits of the freedom of the western world she chooses not to live under putin's oppression yet she using putin's law as an excuse not to speak out and remain silent therefore the way nina kravitz chooses to stay silent can be considered to be out of opportunism hypocrisy and abuse again you are really projecting there she has not said any of these things um thereby going against the values on which the house of techno music and their represented um cultures are built bruv hasn't she been trolling about putin for ages I've seen her posting memes and stuff back when it was back when it was somewhat socially obsess, um, acceptable to post memes about Putin in the same way people post memes about Colonel Gaddafi or Sir, or Saddam Saddam Hussein and shit right like boss all this kind of stuff like people would she was doing that often no one had an issue with it then 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 it gets real and you see actual victims you see actual bodies on the floor now suddenly it becomes something people get uncomfortable with come on man Anyway, it continues. The cultures and communities from which Nina did build her name, we see these silence as a sign of double standards and the disinterest. And we consider it a symptom of toxic positivity and toxic ignorance. What does that even mean, bruv? Toxic, anyway. In the techno scene, that clone record shows not to represent. The house and techno scene are supposed um, to stand up for minorities, for the less privileged, and for the oppressed, and for the freedom of expression. It is built up by the minorities and oppressed people, and we should not allow ourselves to forget just that. Oh, fuck off. Show me the evidence and proof, bro. How many lineups you see of people that look like myself playing on there outside of fucking Carl Cox and, you know, his flipping um, smiley face? How many how people like myself do you see playing on there? How many, forget people that look like me, how many new people that you haven't seen listed on the Beatport 100 do you see playing at these big festivals? Please tell me. Oh, wait. The most newest, freshest thing we have going on at the moment in this entire scene is this hardcore, fast gabba shit that people, all the kids are playing now that's been spearheaded by position. And people still hate that. That's the legitimately one organic new thing that we have going on where we actually have an influx of female, women, DJs coming into industry, um, non-binary, all this sort of stuff, like actually representing on that stage lgbtq plus queer people on the big scale getting booked in big venues only from that one genre actual mainstream techno where they're actually been pushing people that aren't representative in the wide mainstream world of techno where is it i don't see it they don't exist they don't exist come on man this is nonsense all this posturing is absolute bs absolute bs from time Derek may is still on stages and you have various witnesses with corroborating stories coming out and saying how he abused them, he abused them there. Says everything you need to know about about the, the dance music scene. Everything. Everything. Selective, selective, selective. Nina Kravitz is too big to fail. There are enough people who don't know, who don't care. So they want her to fail. What do you mention this for? Or because they are privileged enough to say it's about the music or who just see the money. Privilege. How can it be privileged? Oh, 
I'm not worried about a career. I'm worried about the toxic behavior which rottens the scene and the culture which gave us the music we celebrate every day. I worry about the values of the house and techno culture. Um, while many festivals and clubs conveniently accept her as a right to remain silent, we, in our opinion, have all the response, have all the reason to end the collaboration, even if she would distance herself from past US uh, flattery in the near future, and even if she would take a distance from pro out at some point. So even if she decides to bend the knee and kiss the ring and kiss your feet, it still isn't enough because she hasn't done it in your time frame. Cool. Or the way that you want it to be done. Tolerance, isn't it? Cool. Redemption cool we won't we won't be waiting for a sign of empathy and the victims of russia's aggressions while the murdering raping continues we cannot wait and hope for a, a statement and a personal message or actions showing that she stands for the same models of which the house and scene are brooded while we already have several signs that she doesn't simply put this is not a moral behavior and energy we want to represent or be associated with it's funny that they put in so much so much so much weight on nina kravitz not saying anything as if it actually matters do you think the victims in maripol the victims in kiev the victims in ukraine overall do you think they're in there in those bunkers shaking riddled with fear some of them losing close family members some of them with no family members whatsoever you see those videos of those horrifying videos of a kid on the side of the street with a car with his entire family murdered buried in a ditch including the fucking dog do you think those people are actually worried that nina kravitz doesn't come out and say that she's anti-putin do you think those people actually give a shit like on the ground it's people who aren't actually there, who aren't, aren't actually directly affected by it, who are pushing and rallying for people to get in line to say something and to kind of coerce and get in line with this group thing and to come out with the exact same phrase of wording that they want to be said, like Slava, whatever it may be. It's just annoying. We know what's going on there. It's absolutely horrible, as is every war that's happening in the entire world at the same time, some of which are happening to black and brown people that people don't give a fuck about because guess what? They don't look like the majority of the world, especially the Western world. They don't care. That's why people care about Ukraine so much because they look exactly like you. I get it. Cool. It's horrible. Putin is an animal. Putin is a monster. Cool. But let's call it as it is. Don't try and sugarcoat it. And also, like I said before, I generally do think electronic music especially dance music doesn't need to do this there are so many issues at hand at the moment that still haven't been addressed that need to be addressed then to go over there and say oh because you're not having a stance on putin that legitimately means that you're not for this scene you're not for this music we're going to take away your opportunities to make a living it's absolutely nonsensical for me personally absolutely nonsensical especially considering the other things people get away with in this scene it makes no sense this is the line that you want to draw now this is the line come on I hope this sufficiently um, clarifies and explains my personal stance as well as the standpoint actions taken by clone records, clone distribution. Everyone should make their own decision. I'm not coming out to cancel anybody. Oh, really? You're not coming to cancel anybody? <laughs> okay. Make your own decisions of what energy you want to pull and allow it for your life. All right, cool. That's what Clarence is saying. And then, of 